And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Ezreal. We're playing Twisted Fate and Ezreal. Ezreal with our new region, Bilgewater. It's Bilgewater Day. We're playing all Bilgewater decks today, our brand new region. So wanted to play this deck, uh, put this together because yesterday, our very first match that we played yesterday, we played against Ezreal Twisted Fate. And Ezreal looked really good be you know, with Make It Rain. This this probably needs to change, uh, but for, for now, um, this card, it says two mana, deal one to three random enemies. It does count as targeting for now. And so it actually targets the different random enemies. And so it makes Ezreal so much easier to level up because all you have to do is uh, target enemy units eight plus times. Um, so with Ezreal leveling up even faster, we can get to our end game even faster. Uh, Bilgewater also gets a salvage for some um, for some card advantage. And then we have uh, Twisted Fate as our other champion that just gives us a lot of utility. Even if uh, Twisted Fate doesn't level up, which I don't expect it to level up too much, the 4 mana 2-2 two -two with the versatility that whenever it whenever you play it, you get to play a Destiny card and you get to choose. You either you know draw one and refill a spell mana, you can stun something and deal two, or you get to do one damage to all enemies. Um, you know, so you get to choose if you need like a little uh, mini sweeper or if you need some card advantage. Just that that versatility is really nice with Twisted Fate. And if you if you watch the Fizz Fiora that we just played, our opponent had a leveled up Twisted Fate, and we just couldn't possibly beat it because they just got uh, you know three Destiny like each each one of these cards every single round, and we couldn't we couldn't beat it. But anyway, yeah, they, basically the, the goal of our deck, level up Ezreal as much as possible, play Ezreal, and then um, start playing a bunch of spells with each spell doing two damage to our opponent and combo kill them like that. All right, so let's give this a try. Ooh, we probably need to switch this stuff up. Let's go over to the Slaughter Docks. Um, let's go with the... I mean, this is kind of a Powder Monkey deck. Uh, no, we'll go with like... Let's go with something else, though. We'll go with the Poro. Let's go, we'll go T-Hex. All right, with our Bilgewater card back. What kind of emotes we got? Let's get this one in. All right, gotta step up our emote game. <clears throat> uh, Sherlock, do you have any recommendations for a first deck since the patch? Um, yeah, I really like, uh, so we played two decks yesterday that felt really good that had barely any new cards in them. Um, and those were, uh, the Demacia Sacrifice, which is the deck that I, that I felt, um, that, that felt like the best, to be honest. Um, and then also the Frostbite, uh, Sejuani Frostbite. Yeah, the cosmetics are kind of expensive, um, but like that's really where Riot's making making the most money off of the the game because it's you know easier to get all of the the new cards. I spent. You name it, I'll make it. Uh, let's see. I guess I don't really want to play. I mean, I want to play pickpocket, but I don't want my pickpocket to just trade. I spent $50 and got every single cosmetic that they just came out with with this set. Like, all of the emotes, the pets, and the board. Um, but it was basically... Like, that's basically how much it cost, though. It cost all of that. Take from the rich, give to me. Uh, this is not a good thermogenic beam, but I want to use it and try to hit them. It's just not a good thermogenic beam. Hidden clues, 
So going with the... I have six mana going with the spray fin so I can have three mana left because this is a much better... Um... <clears throat> a much better thermogenic beam. Every two mana card they play, they draw one fleeting. So they, they draw a card, but then they can only cast that card that turn. Oh, and it was a Twisted Fate. It was the fleeting. So they had to... They had to rummage away the Twisted Fate. Um, let's see. I think I'll just go straight to attacks. Would be nice to cast the gotcha right now before it it's gonna start costing four mana starting next turn. I can do this. But it doesn't kill these things. Just gonna put this here. Light the fuse. Why are we here? Seven mana? No, whenever, whenever, um, whenever Twisted Fate levels up, you don't choose the card. It, it goes in order. It's always blue, then red, then gold. For the cards. Well, that thing only cost uh, two mana instead of four. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Meaches. <laughs> but no, I haven't really been playing Commander either. Um, just play, playing this new game. Uh, yeah, it's a couple of years now um playing this game every day um all right so where are we at so we're at as real hitting them time for a true display of skill stack in the eye all right, so now they're going to get three fleeting next turn. So Ezreal's at five. I could do, like, the Static Shock first and target both of these. And then play that. And then that would level up the Ezreal. Alright, so all their Twisted Fates are dead. Twisted Fates, their only champion, and they're all dead. That's probably good news for me. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, so I'm, you know, I'm still doing the same thing. I've just kind of transitioned to a different uh, card game, but... Um, oh, not you. But still doing the same thing with streaming and, and you know, making new deck, you know, making new decks, playing new decks all the time, playing different things. Like, every day I play four or five different decks every single day.
So they got 13. Um, every every spell I cast now does two damage to them. We can do three spells right here fairly easily, but it's kind of a waste of a turn. I think I want to play this Twisted Fate. Never lost a fair game. Play one. Eyes open. Draw, get a spell me in a back. Yeah, Hawkeye Hawkeye passed away in January, actually. He developed cancer on his tongue and then just couldn't eat anymore. Which of course is real sad. So like my my username's, you know, an ode to him. Ode to Hawkeye. He was my cat. Puck tie. Alright, let's give him these puck caps. Get four damage in, and now they have ten puff caps. So if they draw a card with puff cap, we'll take some more damage. Um alright, we gotta do some blocking. It's, it's alright, Meaches, yeah. It's, you know, it's life. It's part that's that's part of life. It, it happens. Thank you, though. Thanks, thanks for the, no way. the condolences. Not what I wanted to see. So given their 1-4 vulnerable so that we can kill it with the Chump Womp and not take the damage. Yeah, I yeah I like what they do with Twisted Fate also. Like, I, I don't know Twisted Fate from League of Legends too well, but this is, seems like a good uh, design of a champion. And, like, we're about to level it up. Crazy. I didn't think we'd be leveling up Twisted Fate too much. They keep drawing more and more cards. That's them drawing puff caps. Get those puff caps. Alright, so you block here. Excuse you. Oh, I should have played this first and leveled up first. on the first Looks like I'm on a hot streak. before the jury rig because I think yeah because then I would have played this and then we would have gotten the other trigger Easy. oh well play this get the blue skill play this get the red skill or the red card we got the blue card, the red card, and now we'll make a rain and get the gold card. Backfired. And basically kill all their stuff and draw a card. Twisted Fate. Four mana two two, so it's very vulnerable. But if you don't, if you don't kill it, and you get to draw a ton of cards before you kill it.
I'll save this for next turn so we can get the Twisted Fate triggers. Uh, they got four puff caps. All right, let's go straight to attacks. Yeah, Meech has tried this game out. It's on mobile now also, and like I said, free to play. And there's a ton of rewards. You can only get the three triggers each turn. Your first spell, you get the... Once Twisted Fate levels up, your first spell, you get the blue card. The second spell is the red card, and the third spell is the gold. All right, looks like we just earned... Speaking of rewards, we just earned an epic card. Let's see what we got. Random epic. Ooh, upgraded to a champion. Nice, got a Swain. Sometimes your rewards just randomly upgrade also. Awesome, got a champion. Epics are like rares and magic. Champions are like mythics. So like our rare just upgraded to a mythic, basically. Um, and we're on our way to a champion capsule now, which will get us another Swain. All right, uh, let's see. Let's go back to Ez. Or let's see, T, Twisted Ez. There we go. Twisted Fates level two is his W ability in League of Legends. Raven Teemo is going to be a real aggressive deck. Let's get rid of this Spray Fin, and I'll keep the rest of these. I could see getting rid of the Chump Wump, but Chump Wump can do some good blocking. This would be better as a 4-4. Maybe as a 4-3, I get rid of it. Teemo! All right, so multiple ways we can kill Teemo. We can use Make It Rain. Um, or we can do Ye Be Warned and then Jury Rig and... Challenge it. I have my orders. All right, I'm not going to risk... I'll just do this Make It Rain and kill both of these. I'm not going to risk them playing another thing. You know, like, if they don't... I don't, I'm not going to pass and see if they play another thing and try to get a three-for-one. Because if they don't play another thing, then they go straight to attacks. Which I guess if they go straight to attacks, it's still a fast beat spell. So that wouldn't have been so bad. Dude, Make It Rain is so powerful. That is... That's one of the top cards. You know, for the non-champions. That's one of the top cards in this set. You laugh in a boot. You name it, I'll nick it. Got something for him. Don't mind me. Tough playing aggro these days. Wow. That's when you know it's tough playing aggro. Mystic shot on the jury rig. So my Ezreal's at 3 out of 8 as far as leveling up goes. They're probably not doing nothing, right? Just need a 
That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. It's not a mystic. That's not a get excited going to my face. Let's toss two, draw two. I want that rummage. Rummage would get rid of these mushroom clouds. That would be nice. Make a rain. Make it rain. Yeah, that. Like, how do you how do you aggro versus make it rain? You just can't, can you? Man, I like the the Noxus P P and Z decks. I feel bad. I'm usually on that side, not on the Ezreal side. But, you know, now playing it from the Ezreal side, that was, you know, just completely not fair. Oh, we got the same matchup. Let's see if we draw some Make It Rains. I already feel bad for my opponent. Okay, okay, that's a real card. Three toughness. That's a real card. That's what you gotta do. You gotta play two, man two mana two threes to survive. I know, right? Isn't the music with this board awesome? Bilgewater Day. So I will uh, take two from this Crimson Disciple. That does four to me. That's when build. Basically, when build your own. Um. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Decimate. There we go. That's the name of the card. Yes, yeah, so they went build your own decimate. Yeah, they're just gonna kill me with direct damage. That's how you gotta aggro. You just gotta be all burn. My deck doesn't have life gain. So, looks like this is over. Me 
Alright, opponent had a, a much better hand against me, for sure. They didn't have the any of the one toughness things. Well, I guess besides that. Whoops, no, two and one. I guess besides that three one, but yeah, the two mana two threes. I'm getting a few decimates. That was better. Yeah, I don't I don't really it doesn't seem like make it rain should level up Ezreal, but it does. Um, make it rain counts as targeting three things. You just don't choose what it targets, but it, it does target. It basically it, it targets three random things. Yeah, you wouldn't think that it would. Uh, all the four drops. Oh, I can't wait. Dang, everybody's playing these Crimson Disciples. Those are so good against me. They already got the tech. Yeah, they're already teched out. Take a lot of damage. I know, these two threes. Look what you yeah, that transfusion was great, also. I'm already down to eight. <laughs> oh, they, these last two decks, they have the tech. Crimson Disciple, that's the tech against Twisted Ez. Probably too hasty on those spells. Probably. So risky. Excuse you. No, that's literally the worst. That's not literally the worst because at least we killed this thing. But we're not killing the spider. Uh, that just puts me down to two. Crimson Disciple. Destroy me. Oh, yeah. Is the Fizz Fior thumbnail up? We can put that video up. Yes. Awesome. Thumbnails are up. Yud is amazing. Thank you. Yeah, let's upload this. Uh, but no, Fizz, Fizz Fiora is not is not very good. But I mean, just looking at like I mean, I knew it wasn't going to be good at the beginning. I, I talk about it. Um, it's it's just a it's, it's basically it's a worse version of the Zed standalone version. Just kind of downgrades 
Like, Fizz is worse than Zed, and everything else just kind of downgrades. Uh... Red Dry Rig. Yeah, it's, it's pretty janky. We got to do some really cool things, though. And there's, there's some really cool moments, but... Yay, get excited. That kills Crimson Disciple. Our bane. Yeah, it looks like it's only aggro against us. That just happens, you know, like the Fizz Fiora deck we only played against Ezreal decks that just had tons and tons of removal, and so it was really difficult, and now we're just playing against all aggro. You know, it's just... Um, you know, it kind of goes in, in spurts like that. It's, it's how, you know, randomness works. No one's the wiser. Wow, that was really unfortunate. That was the worst that we could do. Yeah, that was really unfortunate. Wow, yeah. Oh. Who's gonna get in my way? I don't want to cast the jury rig right now because I want to discard the jury rig to the get excited. Take one extra damage, but the jury rig can block these things, and so our uh, zap spray fins can block these things. Just borrow it. Yeah, that make it rain looked real bad. Well, I mean, it didn't look. I mean, it wasn't. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Okay, okay. Could do worse. Probably rummage away the salvage. Along with the jury rig. And then see what we get. Maybe we get something to use with Get Excited. To kill this crowd favorite. That was a really good turn for us. So we're evened up. Three and three cards apiece. Won't get past me. But we are stabilizing. You name it, I'll it. All right, is the pickpocket going to get in? Or do they got a blocker? I assume they got a blocker. But maybe they just have a bunch of burn spells, and they have to think, do I want to use a burn spell on that or not? My axe is ready. Uh, they got a blocker, I'd say. Smells like opportunity. So we'll use Get Excited plus Mystic Shot to kill this Darius. Just 
discarding the decimate. Guess I can. Uh... All right. So we... Oh, I probably should gold. I kind of forget about the gold card. Probably should just gold card. Yeah, this is this is probably a time for gold card. I don't know. Maybe not. I mean, we're gonna kill this thing before we take damage. Uh, that's worse now. Let's see what happens with this. So obviously we're doing that, and then it doesn't really matter which one of these block which. Well, I mean, toughness-wise. We're taking three. Alright, so we're down to six. Wow, Thermogenic Beam is great with, with Spray Fed. Alright, so now we're down to four. Basically, if this last card's Darius, I need to Thermogenic Beam it. Yeah, you get to choose the the play effect you get to choose with Twisted Faith. And then um, whenever whenever Twisted Fates level up, it just always goes the first one is blue, the second one's red, third one's gold for like the, the three times. Oh, dang, we're down to two now. Ouch. So Leg Legion Grenadiers are just perfect. They're trading with my spells and doing damage. So I'm at two. Gonna I'm gonna have just a twisted fade out. Ezreal's been leveled up for a while though. Hey Zubar. Yeah, definitely enjoying this new set. Absolutely. It's yeah, Darth Vader, you have the wrong impression. You say uh he said, Twisted Fate seems too too vulnerable, too hard to level up, and not enough rewarding once leveled. Um, okay, to the to the second part of that, Twisted Fate is incredibly rewarding when leveled. Um, yeah, it's it's just ridiculously good when it's leveled. But to the first, but it is very hard. It is very vulnerable and very hard to level up. Um, but to that, it's not its not necessarily about that. It's its all about the play trigger. It's, Twisted Fate's strength is that it's r just a really good card to play. Alright, so yeah, so now, now that it's leveled up, we play this, we draw a card. And they top deck Mystic Shock. It's an, it, yeah, it's it's a ridiculously good champion when it's leveled up, but it is very hard to level up. But it's still it had it has just an awesome play effect, and which makes it really good just to be playing because it has an awesome play effect.
All right, so we went two and three, so we started losing aggro. Like, you know, not having any life gain. It's definitely like the aggro decks that have a lot of direct damage. Direct damage really hurt us. The the actual, like, creatures, we, we were killing those very easily. The direct damage really hurt us. My opponent uh, did happen to draw very well that last game. I didn't think that we would have been losing that, but, you know, like their last card was the 3-1 the that whenever it dies, dealt two to us, and then they drew another one of those, and then a Mystic Shot, and we were at six, and so it was just kind of perfect. Six direct damage that we couldn't do anything about. Um, yeah, so I think, I do kind of feel like Karma Ezreal is still the better Ezreal deck, but Make It Rain plus Ezreal is ridiculous. Make It Rain's very good. Um, it felt like I probably wanted the third Gotcha. Gotcha looked really strong. I was playing two Gotcha, two Get Excited. Um, but both Gotcha and Get Excited were both really good. Um, I kind of wanted the, the third of both of them, or at least one of them. Um, like, I needed that. I needed ways to kill two mana. I needed more ways to kill two mana, two threes. Um, my, my third and fourth opponents both really destroyed me with the direct damage from the, the Crimson Disciple. Crimson Disciple just was our was the bane of our existence. Games two and three, that one singular card wrecked us really bad. Um, but yeah, I think the I think this deck's very solid. Uh, I know we just went two and three, but I think that was just some some circumstances with what we played against, how our cards lined up against our opponent's cards and stuff like that. Um, I think this is a really solid deck. Uh, Twisted Fate was was incredible. Like yeah, this card was really good. Um, Ezreal, of course, really good. Um, I I could definitely see playing one less. I could I could see cutting a Chump Wump, which sounds weird, but I could see cutting a Chump Wump for a, a Gotcha or a Get Excited, potentially. The deck's all fours. <laughs> uh, maybe cut a Salvage. Maybe I don't know. Um, but uh, Ionia also got a lot of new cards, and so I, I'm not sure this is better than Karma as, but it's fun to play. All right, uh, we got some more coming up, including the deck that I've been really looking forward to. The next one that we got, Bilgewater Yoink. We're going to be stealing our opponent's cards with our Yoink deck. Yoinking their cards away, it'll be fun. All right, but that's it here for Twisted Ezreal. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, you know, feel free to let me know what you uh, what you think of the deck in the comment section, but then also just other things, other decks you want to see. You know, leave those comments. And then, uh, you know, I, I usually like taking your ideas and then making it happen. So uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching some Twisted Ezreal, and I'll see you for the next video.